Hey you guys, it's me Rhonda. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to jump on here um, in response to a comment I had. Um, Sharon had asked if I would do a video on like my quiet time, my morning routine, kind of what that looks like, and then my evening routine. So I thought I would go ahead and do that video for you. I feel like I've kind of shared what I do in my morning time, time but maybe this will be a little bit more helpful as far as like show you what I'm doing instead of just telling you. I wished I had the ability or the wherewithal to have like how to do a, like a vlog a day in my or a vlog in my day. I wouldn't even know where to start with that. I, I'm getting a little curious as to how to maybe up my game a little bit on that part because I do have things throughout my day when I'm thinking of you guys. Like I'll be doing something, I'm like, oh, that would be something good to share. And so it would be good to be able to maybe take a few minutes to make a little snippet. And I've tried iMovie and it, it's just a lot of, um, anyway, I'm gonna work on it. Hang in there, <laughs> bear with me. Um, but anyway, so what I normally do in the morning my internal clock wakes me up usually about 4.35, 5.15 ish. And I'll get up. I have my water jug by me and I just start drinking some water. And I'm talking to Jesus and get up, do, you know, your little the things you do in the morning. And then I get right back either in my bed or I go into the living room where I have um, a chair. I kind of have a have it set up. But where, whatever I'm going to do, I set it up for the night before. So today's Sunday. So we have to be at work at 7.30 in the morning. So I'm already ready for tomorrow. I've got my lunch laid out or set out. I've got my things in order. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through how I do that. So tomorrow means I'm gonna probably get up about 4.30 just because my mind knows I have somewhere to be. So I have a condensed time period. One thing I've learned about myself is the more time that I have, the more time I will take. And that can set me back in my day, which makes me feel like I'm behind all day. So I don't know if you're like that. Well, let me know. But so I already know ahead of time that we need to be down the road at 730. So I need to be, it takes me about an hour to do my quiet time. However, <laughs> I'm excited to share with you what I've added on to that. So now that's an additional like 10, 15 minutes. So <clears throat> I just need to make sure that I'm working out by six o'clock. Six o'clock is my time that I push play. It's a 20 minute workout. So I kind of play all of this in my mind how, and then I reverse engineer how, what time do I need to wake up <laughs> because I know what time I need to start and be somewhere. So anyway, I'll get up, I'll drink some water, I'll go to the bathroom, wash my face, get the sleep out of my eyes. And then um, I'll usually, I have been getting in a better habit of trying to pre-make my coffee so I can just push the button. And tomorrow I go back to my black coffee. I've gotten off um, my routine of having my black coffee first, just because the past couple of weeks, we've just been kind of slow at work, you know, not really having a set time to go. So I've enjoyed my creamer and my coffee and, um, and just finishing my fasting a little bit earlier in the evening. Like I finished my, I, I started my fast, which means I closed my eating window at 4.30 today. So I've already eaten, I'm already done. I won't eat anything else, which means when I wake up tomorrow at 12.30, I mean at 4.30, that'll be a 12 hour already fast under my belt because I slept most of my fast. Drink some water, <clears throat> gets my stomach started, you know, just kind of awake, wakes it up with the nice freshness of the water. And then I'll brew some black coffee because I still like my coffee. It still keeps me regular and I'm not going to not drink coffee in the morning yet. <laughs> just not there. So, and I enjoy the black coffee, believe it or not. And then I go and I have my Bible bag. It's the same bag I've shown on my um, channel before. It's by Everything Mary. And um, the first thing that I do is I pull out my Bible. This is my ESV journaly Bible. It's a hardcover. I've never liked hardcovers, but this book has won my heart. I really like it. I like the way it feels in hand. <clears throat> and um, and then my Eden to Eternity workbook, because I'm following their chronological plan if you're new. And we are in Isaiah. And um, so tomorrow... I know that I will be in, 
Okay, so tomorrow is Isaiah 32 through 35, and then we're going to jump to a psalm. So that will be my scheduled reading. So that's the first thing I do is read this part of my um, quiet time, is my Bible reading plan with my workbook. Once I'm done with that, I, oh, I have my phone, which we're on. <laughs> and on my phone, I have the YouVersion app. Now, the YouVersion app has on there also this reading plan so that you can either have this book in hand and you can write out the questions and or answer, write out the answers to the questions in the workbook, or you can follow along on their YouVersion app. Well, when I started in January, I got invited into a group that were that was going to be following along the, this workbook and everything. So I went ahead and joined the group. There was over, I don't know, 200 of us. There's 27 of us left in the group. So that kind of is a little motivation for me to stick to it. We're like on day 202, I think now. And um, so the questions from the workbook are, are the same questions in the reading plan. And I just do it double. And what I found as of late is I'll answer it one way in the workbook. But by the time I've gone and I've thought about it a little bit and I've I uh, go to the questions in on the app. I'll answer it a little different, so that's kind of that's kind of. And plus, I like to read what everybody else is kind of writing up there and how the how they interpret it a little bit or what did they get out of the study. So it's kind of like a, a talking thread, but nobody really chit chats. We're just in there answering the questions or whatever. And um, also on the U version, they have daily little like the verse of the day, and then they'll have a little snippet of a pastor or, or a speaker or an author that kind of gives you some insight on the verse. And then they'll have a prayer, like a guided prayer. So I do all of that. So it takes me maybe, I don't know, seven, eight minutes for that. And then I will go and some days I do this, some days I don't. Like today, I, I haven't read this yet, but it's still open. I can still, you know, read it. But then I go straight into my devotional, which is the mystery book, the book of mysteries. And I'll tell you what day we're on because <clears throat> I, we are on, today, today is 2003. So tomorrow will be day 2004 of this year, y'all. How consistent, how consistent. It just makes you feel accomplished. Like, gosh, I've been in God's word every day for 203 days, every day. Um, then recent, so anyway, this was, these are the little in touch magazines that I get in the mail. I do like them. I mean, sometimes I just, I tear the page out and I'll stick it in my little prayer book that I have. Um, it's sometimes it's just a quick little read and, um, I, I just like to have that. And like, I already have the one for August. I'm already waiting for, for, a, you know, to start that one. Not that I follow it every single day. So I'm not as regimented on that, but I am very regimented on my, Bible reading plan and my devotional. <clears throat> that's that's a given. I have recently added. Um, I have shared before that I did a praying scriptures for your husband and your adult children. But then I saw these two little books on faith, faithway or is it lifeway, faithway or lifeway.com, something like that. They were having it like so. These were like ten dollars. So I got these two little books in. They're good so far. I've only read um, two days worth of them, but I have them. In, so I read that it's praying the scriptures for your marriage. So it's not necessarily just for your husband, but it's over your marriage. And then another new fresh reader on praying scripture for your adult children. And they are perfect size to fit in a B6 traveler's notebook. If you have one, this is an Adele notebook from Planner Perfect. It's so squishy. It's so soft. I love it. So that is my morning routine as far as my quiet time with God. My new addition to my quiet time, y'all, I signed up for Duolingo. My daughter and granddaughter are doing Spanish. They've been doing it for several months now, and they're way ahead of me. And the other night, I was sitting on the, um, YouTube, and I was learning how to rec like go through the Hebrew alphabet because I want to learn Hebrew, if not necessarily to speak it fluently, to recognize the letters and to recognize the words for like when you're reading um, some Hebrew scripture or when you're in church and they and they throw that maybe a Hebrew word of the Old Testament at you or what. I just kind of want it to be a familiar um, <clears throat> or recognition. 
So I signed up for Duolingo. They have a free, but then I think you can pay for a year. I'm in the free trial. And um, y'all, <laughs> if you think that you're going to go in there and learn how to speak another language like you did when you were in high, like middle school, having to take it or high school, whenever you had to take your second language where you learn the alphabet and then your numbers and then the parts of your bodies and things like that, they pop you right in there. Here's a word. Learn it, recognize it because the next thing is going to be a sentence and you have to be able to recognize it and I kid you not as an adult learner I am I'm finding out I'm more visual I'm enjoying that part the little symbols it's on my phone so I have to have my grandma glasses out so that I can see the little dot underneath it that will make it a vowel and then there's no dot, it's a consonant. If there's a dot, I mean, it's just so interesting. So anyway, I'm studying, not studying, but I'm I'm implementing that in my morning. And, the, and you can put five, 10, 15, and 20 minute increments ever how you wanna study for. So you can pick and choose what you wanna do. And then during the day, you can pick up an, an extra lesson and, and, and it just has little badges and things. So anyway, something fun that I've added. And I've been wanting to learn a little bit of Hebrew for a while, just to, recognize it. So that's a fun thing that I've added. Now that's not going to be a hard, like I can't do anything until I finish this. That I can do kind of later in the day. <clears throat> so I'm not going to be so tight noosed on that one, but I tr I put it on my app in on my phone. I have a little app folder. So that's where I put like all my little endure the word, my commentaries, now it has my Duolingo, it has my Uversion Bible app. It's all in one little folder. So I call that my Bible bag on my phone. So I, I put the Duolingo in my Bible bag now so that in the morning time, I see it as a reminder. Oh, don't forget, if you're still running good on time, you can put, you know pop out a lesson. If I'm not, I, I'm not going to stress out about it because that's just something that I'm playing with right now. And <clears throat> so with that being said, that's kind of like my crunch time, quiet time in the morning that, that is part of what I've got to get done before my day really gets started. Um, throughout the day, most likely it's going to be on the weekends. I have two new books I've picked up because I've just been, I've, I have found myself worrying more. Not sure why. It's not necessarily worrying, but just repetitive thoughts in my mind over the same thing just a little bit of the unknown and you know what if and you know what if and and things like that so i've picked up when i picked up these two new little scripture reading books i picked up this one by um louis giglio winning the war of worry it is a super fast read it is very thin super fast read so i'm getting that one knocked out pretty quick i mean i've already more than halfway done with it and then i fought for a long time getting this one this craig rochelle I used to really like him. Um, I loved the way he would preach and do his stories, but I started finding that it, it started to be more, um, a, just more, how would you say, is it thematic, not thematic, or just like more, it wasn't as in the Bible as I want to get when I'm watching a sermon. And so I kind of drifted away from, from watching him, but there was a Bible plan on my U version app that I was invited to read with. It was a seven day plan. And so I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I liked him when I would watch him early on. And um, it just seemed, it was not prosperity. What is the, what I'm trying to say? I just felt it really wasn't my way of listening to, to that type of preaching. I don't, not in an ugly way, just does it, it didn't preach to me. Um, but this was the Bible reading plan that was in the YouVersion app. And after seven days, I was like, gosh, I really want to read a little further on that blip. Or I want to read a little bit further on this blip. And so I went ahead and got the book. It was on sale for 10 bucks. So I, I got it. And it's kind of like a workbook, but I, I won't, I'm not going to, I just wanted to get some of the quotes and the tips and the things more in context of what the book was instead of just a little blurb that you had in the Bible reading plan. <clears throat> so those are two books that I'm just kind of reading on throughout the day, you know, probably on the weekend. And so that's most of what I do for my morning time. Now, I don't want you to think that 
all I do is Jesus stuff, but really all I do is Jesus stuff. <laughs> and I don't want you to feel like that's something that you have to do. That is completely not. I just love learning and I love exploring different contexts and I like to look at if I pick up on something I have to go into a commentary or find something else to take me a little bit deeper into that so while my quiet time may seem okay well she just reads the Bible in the workbook that's great I can do that you can totally do that you don't need to follow this whole deep dive into you know the other stuff that I do um, <clears throat> reading constantly on things but here's the thing if you don't fill your mind with the good stuff the bad stuff will fill it for you so you really need to be intentional so I'm just more intentional with what I'm reading and what I'm studying and what I'm watching so it seemed like all I do is take in Jesus because that's all I do take it in Jesus and a lot of my health and wellness stuff, my fast like a girl and, and um, things like that. So it really is a lot more positive input than it is that I just sit idle minded. Now, don't think I never have times the past couple of weeks. I've just sat idle minded for a while because I've gotten back into the Game of Thrones. There's eight seasons. I'm on season seven. So that can tell you where I've been spending some of my idle time. <laughs> the Chosen is over. We're waiting for season five now. So I'm rounding it out and then I'll be done with the whole binging of these shows because I'm telling you, it is mind numbing when you get into them. But once you get into them, gosh, you know what? Sometimes you just can't escape. So anyway, that's kind of my morning routine. Now, to go along with um, answering the question of what do I do in the evening, I started, um, well, I had signed up for How to Faith a Life. She has some book study so I'm doing the Ephesians I just started the Ephesians book study with her yesterday because we had a really rainy afternoon and I thought you know what I've got this pro these um things I've already paid for in there I'm going to go ahead and get started on it so I did we read through the book I've got her cliff notes made some notes you know did my little notes in here and this is my study bible that I used last year I'm just kind of going forward in it and um so I'm I'm trying to pick up that in the evening. She has 13 videos. I got a little cocky yesterday. I said, oh, I'm going to watch all 13 of these videos. And I'm just going to knock this book out. It's only six chapters. But boy, Ephesians is a deep um, study. And it's a really good study to fall on if you are looking to see what your identity is in Christ. Who am I in Christ? Who does... Who does Jesus say I am in him? What does he want out of me? And so one of the things that I, I'll just share this real quick um, while we're on the subject. The book of Ephesians in chapters 1 through 3, it's who we identify in. And then in chapters 4 through 6, it's how do we live in that identity. So the first three chapters are, are what is our identity like in Christ? And then the last books are how do we live that out? So it's just really a book. It's a really good book to get into if you're just really kind of have an identity crisis. Paul will set you straight. <laughs> He'll get you back on your feet. So that's my um, something I'm just kind of filtering in. Like I said, there's 13 videos. I was going to try to get them all done yesterday, but I've got several more to do because I did it. And then be, I do this the night before, not as diligent as I used to when I was really following like the scripting of my planner perfect method and writing out and journaling. I'm just in my spiral and I write out like I've already got Monday written out. And um, I just, I'm just telling myself I'm, gonna, I'm already seeing tomorrow as it's happening or as it's, it will happen, but my brain doesn't know that it hasn't happened. So I'm telling myself, I'm going to get up at 4.30. I'm going to have my water. I'm going to have my black coffee. I'm going to do my quiet time. I'm going to have my devotional and my Bible reading plan with the workbook, my Version app, Duolingo. I'm going to change for my workout. I'm in week four of Body Lava. And then we're going to go down the, work at, down the street to work at Tracy's. I've written out that I'm having my shake and my greens and two boiled eggs. For breakfast, when I break my fast, which will probably be about 11.30 or 12, um, my lunch will be my oatmeal, which most likely will be when we're coming home. Because once I eat my shake and my two eggs, that's a lot of protein. It keeps me full. And um, then I have my little overnight oatmeal that I make, and I set those up for the week. And I'll have, it's like my, my 
reward for working all day in the hot heat. So I'll I'll drink that on the way home. And then for supper, I'm gonna we're gonna um, grill some chicken and have salad. So I've kind of laid that out already. Like tomorrow is already in play, and so that way when I get up, I have where my feet are gonna go. I function better that way. When we have days that we don't have to go to work right away or we have to go to Home Depot first or we're waiting for a delivery to be delivered later in the morning, that it, it I will be running behind to get ready to go just because I'm like, my body just knows, even if I get up early, it's like, it goes in reverse, like the sloth. It's like, Rrr. but so anyway, that's kind of my schedule as far as um, what I do. I just really have, I make a plan and it doesn't have to be super in depth. I'm hopefully, I mean, I'm already looking into what am I gonna do next year? Like, I already know that next year my translation is gonna be the NSV, I mean the, I'm sorry, the um, CSB, because I've studied the NIV, the NLT, the ESV, and so next year I wanna read through the Bible in the CSB translation. And so I'm already, thinking ahead like that. Do I want to do another Bible reading plan? Do I want to have specific um, deadlines on things? So that's where my brain kind of is always going. How? What can I learn next? What am I going to get the most out of when I'm studying? Um, and I don't know. I don't want that to make sound like a scary thing. Oh, if I'm a Christian, I have to do all of that. Oh my gosh, I can't keep up. That's not. If you just spend five minutes, I've said this before, your life will still be changed. Your heart will still be changed. When you are sincerely surrendering, God takes what you give him, you know, and then the Holy Spirit transforms you and then you prioritize. And then before you know it, you're in an hour, you're in an hour and a half and you don't even know, you don't even want to get done. You want to just keep on going and going and going. It just, you can't not change. When you are truly in the word and it starts getting a hold of you, you can't not change. You just can't. So that's what I do in the morning. I would love to know what you guys do. How in depth do you go? And what kind of study techniques do you do? If you're not following along a Bible reading plan that dictates to you what book you're reading or what verses you're reading, I'm, I'm serious. How do you know what you want to read the next day? Do you just pick up and read? I mean, if you if you're a seasoned Bible reader and you have read the book, the Bible through, do you start over again in Genesis or do you decide that maybe next year I'm just going to re read and study deep the Old Testament? Or do you just decide I'm just going to dig deep and study the New Testament? What is your thought process going into a new year or going into a, a, a study session or reading session? I mean, I really am genuinely curious because I feel like Sometimes I do better with structure like that. If I have something that I'm thinking, this is what I need to do. So, okay, I'll make it work. I'll fit it in. But um, so this year has worked really well for me. I'd like to have those little um, little specific things that we're reading, little, you know, check, click off the boxes that I've done it. And then you get a little ding. And so I don't know. I'm just curious. But anyway, I hope that answers your question, Sharon. I appreciate you. Um, suggesting it that that's great that worked out great um so yeah drop a comment let me know what you plan on doing um i know it's just early but y'all it's almost the next year we're coming up close we're coming in hot it's we're halfway over halfway so anyway just curious i hope you enjoyed the video if so make sure you like and subscribe share with a friend that you think may benefit from getting a routine together maybe they're asking you hey what do you do in your routine you can say well this is what Rhonda does Maybe it's something that you can pick up and take along to be your structured, your, the way that you lay things out. But anyway, the sun is setting in my face and it's reflecting hot off the window. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and happy next week.